contain edible vaccines is well underway. Work is being done with bananas, potatoes, tomatoes, lettuce, rice, wheat, soybeans, and corn. Companies like Medicago are using gene editing to turn plants into mini bioreactors. Medicago's manufacturing facility looks like a nursery, but inside these plants, they're growing a new kind of vaccine. The technology is called a virus-like particle. At Medicago, we use a careful step-by-step -step process to develop vaccines, using our plants as mini bioreactors. We start with the gene sequence, or code, of a virus. We then use our technology to synthesize the virus code into a real biological product. The code contains genetic instructions that our plants can read, and we insert it into bacteria called Agrobacterium tumefaciens. We submerge the plants in a bath with the bacteria that carries the information into the plant cells. And using a vacuum, we suck out the air between the plant cells and replace it with the liquid. The plants absorb it like a sponge. At the end of their bacterial bath, we return our plants to a carefully controlled greenhouse to let them get on with their natural growing business for at least four days. Now the plants will start producing the most important ingredient of our vaccines, virus-like particles. Gene editing is now officially in our meat industry. Lobbyists for the cattlemen and pork associations in several states have confirmed that they will be using the mRNA COVID vaccines on their livestock. Attorney Tom Renz has been warning that there is no law requiring anyone to give informed consent for vaccine food. There are no laws requiring anyone to tell you the food you are buying has been vaxxed with the spike protein clot shot. The UK recently passed into law the Genetic Technology Precision Breeding Bill. The bill amends the Environmental Protection Act of 1990 to exclude references to precision bred organisms so far as they relate to marketing. Precision bred organism is another term for gene edited. So now in the UK, food that's been gene edited can be legally marketed as non-GMO. And if this UK gene edited meat makes its way to America, it can be labeled non-GMO here as well. And so long as it's butchered in America, it can be labeled product of USA. The fake alternative meat being pushed by Bill Gates and others is made of immortal cell lines. In other words, cancerous tumor cells. Real meat is...